Hey listeners, what's up everyone? Great Sunday to you. Hope you're having a great Sunday. It's me again. It's your guy, the sports judge here with you. There was just a blockbuster NBA trade. Cat, Cole Anthony Towns got traded to the New York Knicks. One of the rumblings during the offseason, and it, and it was one that I believe to be true, was that the Knicks, in an attempt to lure Carl Anthony Towns out of Minnesota, were reportedly willing to push all their chips to the table. They were reportedly exploring trades for Julius Randle as the two sides failed to agree on a contract extension. In a way, I really like this for both sides. Look, it seemed... Like both teams wanted to move on from their big man and call Anthony Towns a more talented all-around big man. Julius Randle at times for the Knicks has been really, really good. He's just been derailed by injuries. When they needed him the most, he got hurt. Um, and, you know, he was unhappy and was disengaged. Even after they gave him the money, it just felt like he didn't want to be there anymore. He didn't want it be a part of the team. I just saw a very unhappy player trying to fit in a city and within a system that he really didn't buy into. I need a player who has a great relationship with everyone. And I just felt like he didn't have the greatest relationship with everybody. In my honest opinion, the Wolves won this trade. A healthy Randall isn't an odd fit with Minnesota. You got Dante DiVincenzo, who I always mispronounce his name. Please bear with me on that. Uh, but DiVincenzo uh, can be your sixth man. He's a proven guy. He can score. He is probably the most improved three-point shooter this league has seen in the last two years. Now you have more flexibility. Nas Reed will get more minutes. And it just makes sense to me. Bronson and Cat will probably take some more uh, you know, time for adjustment, obviously, unless Cat is okay with Bronson handling the ball 90% of the time. I actually like this trade for Minnesota because they get out of the t of that town's money. Simple uh, to understand why the Timberwolves made this move. Anthony Towns was due $220 million over the next four years. Towns' massive uh, contract is off the books. I don't really know what your ceiling is for him. Guess what? Um, with the way the team is constructed and with how much money they're going to have to spend on Edwards, you have to keep Gobert just in general. I think this was a smart idea to move on from Carl Anthony Towns, and we have been hearing it for a while now. They offload Cat's contract and go all in on Nas Reed while acquiring Julius Randle and Dante DiVincenzo. In the process, the current NBA CBA is one of the main reasons the Timberwolves traded their 28-year-old all-star big in his prime. Interesting decision by the Knicks. You literally just traded grit, chemistry, and team and, and a team for, and team friendly contracts for a big name and a massive contract and an expensive center who's been called soft and has not always showed up. On top of that, you gave up another first round pick. I actually thought the Knicks last season became uh, much more Jalen Bronson driven, just a more uh, backcourt driven team. Period. And then you got Bridges in the off season that Randall doesn't. Uh, you know, you got Bridges in the offseason that Randall doesn't fit in anymore with Bridges on the team. The Bridges trade was huge. To me, it was very huge. To have any chance at beating the Celtics, the Knicks needed a stretch five. And now they got that. There were rumors about Carl Anthony Towns being among those being dangled in uh, trade discussions. The New York Knicks are acquiring Anthony Towns from the Minnesota Timberwolves in exchange for Julius Randle, Dante DiVincenzo, and a protected first round draft pick from the Detroit Pistons, according to the Athletic. The Charlotte Hornets are also getting involved in the deal as a third team. Talk about an unexpected trade. I mean, they made an out of nowhere trade. Like a lot of people did not see this coming. They didn't expect this. And guess what? It's a reality now. This is 
this is really happening. And to think Cat had his best a uh, year yet and a great playoff run, and and now he gets traded a month before the season. We didn't see that. We didn't see that coming. Listen, the Knicks have acknowledged their need to add a center. I knew the Knicks were looking for a big man. I truly feel like adding Cat, even though the Villanova Wildcats are no longer together after after this trade. I truly believe this addition gives the, the Knicks another guy who can get his own shot. At least being aggressive, it gives you a chance to win. The move to me acknowledges that they're all in. They're going all in to win now. The mission is clear. They want to beat the Boston Celtics when and win the NBA championship. This trade is a win for them because it increases their odds at doing just that. It was actually a good trade for both teams. Cat has a weird high ceiling. The pressure is now on him tremendously in a place like New York where fans keep their receipts. All this does is continues a reshaping of the Knicks roster after two straight runs to the Eastern Conference semifinals and gives them a center they needed after losing Isaiah Hartenstein in free agency to the Thunder and Mitchell Robinson is going to miss some time. He's going to miss the start of the season as he recovers from an ankle injury. It's a stunning deal from any perspective. The Wolves are coming off one of their best seasons ever after making a run to the Western Conference Finals. And now they're trading one of their key pieces, uh, uh, you know, uh, to, you know, the New York Knicks. The Knicks had already loaded up this offseason with an all-in trade for Mikael Bridges. And now they filled their hole at center. What this trade does is reshapes the race for the NBA Finals in both conferences. Cat's uh, going to be a weapon in that, that offense, not only in any um, all two-man game actions, but floor spacing, spacing as well, right? The Knicks will have a legitimate stretch five type to really impact the defense around the basket, keeping shot blockers away from the basket. The Knicks didn't have that element before. It's a decision that could potentially redefine the Knicks playoff aspirations. The end result, I feel good about this trade. Let's see how it all plays out. Thanks for watching everyone. Really appreciate the love and support. I'm getting out of here now. It's hot in this damn car. And I've been chatting with you guys for probably about eight to nine minutes now. But I, yeah, about eight minutes. And I'm about to check out and I'm about to continue to watch this Chiefs and this Chiefs and Chargers game. The game right now, the last time I left, it was tied 10-10. So I want to see what's going on with this game. But we'll catch up later. We'll chat sometime again soon. Take care, everyone. Peace. Oh, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for your boy. Check you guys later. Peace.